Hi everyone, welcome to Homebrew Wednesday. I'm um, going to start the show actually with a few shout outs. There's been quite a few uh, milestones and firsts this week, so I've got them on my bit of paper. Um, first show, shout out is to uh, your friend of mine, Dino, at Tube Dino's. Um, hit um, 700 subs, so great job, Dino. Also, shout out as well to uh, DJ, DJ's Brew Chew. He, he hit 1,000 subs this week and also uploaded his 600th beer review, so that's. Uh, Fantastic going. Also, shout out to Crew Wolf who uploaded his first uh, beer video as well on YouTube. So, yeah, great job to everyone. Um, where are they now section? This was also mentioned as well by um, Darren Armitage to me. Um, Dick at uh, Dick's Homebrews. Again, someone else I used to watch. Um, you know, when I first started watching YouTube uh, beer vids, what was that, probably, you know, 15 months ago, something like that. Um, right, this week I've been looking at uh, brewing gear got um, been quite lucky on birthday money etc so I'm going to get buy myself a 55 litre pot with ball valve and um, all of the gadgets on it um, but I'm a bit sort of buggered on space really for where I am I've got so much crap so to speak um, always having to clear out but um, space is the main constraint so um I was thinking, well, if I do it on the gas hobs, you know, it's going to take the reverberal nine hours to heat up that sort of amount of water, and I'll be, um, you know, on first name terms with the CEO at Eon or British Gas, wherever it is um, I use, because um, he'll be sending me Christmas cards because of the amount of money I'm spending with him. And then I thought, oh, induction heating. It's the future. It's the future. It's the biggest thing since garlic bread. It's the future. But um, not all pans, because of the stainless steel um, bottoms, etc., work on induction heating. Rule of thumb is if a magnet sticks to the bottom of your pan, then it will work on induction heating. So I thought, ah, oh, induction heating. I could get um, they have them on, um, on Amazon, eBay, etc. Little 2 kilowatts, some 2.5 kilowatts, um, about 36 centimetre wide. Um, I thought, hey, one of them, brew pot on that takes up no room, saves me gas, that's the way to go. Um, was in contact with gentleman Rob at the Malt Miller. Um, I know um, Brew Lover 1983 Brew is a uh, big fan of his as well. I'll put the website down there below. Um, had some emails back and forth with him, really, really helpful guy. Um, induction ones, he's actually got some uh, range coming in in about October time that can work on induction heating. So I'm going to hang on till October and then I'm going to go and have a bit of a spending spree with him. And um, so I've got a new pot, save so using a tiddly one, and then I've got full BIAB um, set up instead of just doing like mini ones that uh, I often do at the moment. Um, and I think that's about it for me. There's been um, a lot of things... Oh, before I forget, bargains, as you saw last week. I sort of nearly maxed my credit card out on some of them bargains that I got. This week, um, supermarket chain Morrison's. They got a J.W. Lee's Brewers Dark, 2.8%. That's one English pounds. And also their um, um, specially selected range. This one is a black sheep version of Golden Ale. There's also one brewed by Titanic. Um, they That was a pound as well. So I'll put them in the, uh, in the collection. Oh, to do a thirsty Thursday. Uh, last but not least, uh, I see everyone is having a go at the uh, chug challenge. Um, I'm a bit out of practice. I'm 41 now, so my days of two weeks in Magaluf and drinking beer like this in barber's chairs being poured down my neck is a, a bit beyond me. But um, I've got a, I've got an IPA here. Um, I'll stand up a bit actually. Ooh, just try not to knock the, knock the camera over. Ooh. Alright, let's give this a go. Cheers everyone. Happy Homebrew Wednesday chaps. See you next week. Be seeing you. Ugh.